Hey sister friend, welcome into Try On Tuesday. Our Comfort and Joy collection is dropping the shop this AC Thursday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, and this collection is full, sis. We've got a lot hitting the shop this Thursday, so I'm gonna get a running start. I'll be talking to you about the Comfort and Joy collection in size small. Of course, our team will be in the studio tomorrow talking about size medium and large. If you ever miss our try-ons, check our highlights, and you can also see these styles, see the try-ons on our product pages for our website. But the Comfort and Joy collection, y'all, it's stunning, sparing, no detail. Um, delicious, delicious fabrics. These are gorgeous neutrals. I think you're gonna wear them. They're gonna be some of your most worn pieces this winter. I cannot overstate how comfortable this collection is, and it's really, really, really beautiful. So let's get started because these pieces are gonna make your wardrobe so easy to work with this winter. First up, meet the Marcel Contrast Cardigan. Y'all, I cannot get over her cuteness. I love this girl. Talk about wardrobe capsule piece, basic but not basic. That's the Marcel with her detailing. This knit is unbelievable. So, so soft, so, so stretchy and just beautiful quality. Like truly, when you get your hands on it, you're like, yes. I would say this is a moderate to heavyweight cardigan. So depending on how you style it, you can be like super warm. I just have it on with a tank uh, underneath right now. I can show you it unbuttoned in just a second, but you can put a flannel on underneath this thing. You could put a waffle knit to make it even warmer if you're in a winter climate um, or a cooler climate. If you're not like me and you wanna style it with a little tea and a tank throughout the winter, perfect to do that too. Okay, so we're calling this fabric of the Marcel a dark grayish. It's almost mushroomy. So it's really versatile, I think, in styling with so many, the light just went really dim in here. I don't know what happened. Um, so many different ways you can, because it's kind of that in between, it does lean more brown than it does gray, but it's got some gray undertones to it. And it's just beautiful, that heathering to it. And of course, this detail that takes it up 10 notches with this contrasting detail at the neckline. And you'll have to see the back of this girl. It kind of goes into just like a little subtle point at the neckline where these two sides meet. So beautiful. So even if you have your hair up in a little top knot, baseball cap, whatever, you've got a little styling punch of detail back there. So, so pretty. So delicious fabric, beautiful color, color, super versatile style, whether you're wearing it. I love two buttons unbuttoned. Today, um, speaking of buttons, they just blend beautifully into this knit. I like leaving buttons of cardigans and button up tops unbuttoned for a really casual look that gives it some movement as you live life. You could also, of course, button these all the way up and leave it out, kind of like as a little relaxed sweater. You could button it up and tuck it in as a little sweater look too, whether you're tucking it into dress pants or skirts or whatever, just again, so, so versatile. Okay, so I've talked about this contrasting neckline and these buttons, this contrast goes all the way down. Over here, dropped shoulder, really relaxed sleeve. Again, you can layer under this super comfortably. I did cuff this sleeve twice. Over here though, I don't want you to miss this beautiful detail. I would probably cuff this sleeve because this is a bit oversized on me, but this beautiful bishop sleeve detailing just takes an everyday look and makes it elevated, really put together. Like you could easily dress this girl up with this detailing, slightly fitted cuff. But remember, outrageous stretch on this girl. Like it could not be more comfortable. Then going down along the waistline, you can see that it, the knit at the hemline changes just slightly and it tapers in just a little bit. Okay, so those are all of the styling details. You do have this one seam that kind of goes up across the back of the shoulder and meets at that neckline. Um, but other than that, those are all the style details. The Marcel is going to come in a small, medium, and large. I'm wearing the size small. I would say this is very relaxed, borderline oversized on me. Many of you can just go ahead and size down in this, unless you want an oversized look like I have here. Otherwise, for sure, if you're in between sizes, I would recommend sizing down. So if you like oversized, stick true to size. If you wanted a little more classically fit, you could size down in this girl. But as a small, I'm a 32C, plenty of room here, plus the stretch, 225, 26, plenty of room around my hips and my waist. Uh, even if it were buttoned and at 5'5", five, five, it's giving me almost front and almost full booty coverage. And just to show you it, 
undone those cute little buttons. How adorable. Yes.